All right. Hey, hey guys. I wanna actually do a quick mook review of a uh, mook I have that I wanted when it came out and I pre-ordered it. This is the uh, Frame Arms uh, Builder's Gut Manual, pretty much. There is another manual for painting Frame Arms Girls coming that came out, which I have, which I still need to ship out. But we're gonna take a look at the uh, the building manual, which is pretty nice. Is um, when you bought bought it, you get received a uh, card here with the offer. There's a little message saying, enjoy hobby. And then a photo of uh, her, with her finished kit she's done. Which I think is really, really sweet and nice. She also has um, her signature. And then right here, actually is a little bit about her. This is my little write up. Here's the content. And then here is a breakdown of what's in the what's what and where's where. So, first, you have the um, build up and clean up of the parts. And then it goes on to uh, painting and weathering and all that kind of funny is they have painting in this one but then the second one also is painting but I think it goes more de into more detail about painting and then again more breakdown and then uh, extras and stuff that you can add to uh, them then here are kicks. Please. It's not all of them. There's a lot of them. Pretty much now. And then it goes down into the tools you need like nippers, hobby knife, pliers, part separator, cutting mat. goes into, you know, cut the box. How to check through the manuals, make sure you're not missing anything. What each symbol stands for, which I love. She went, went through that. I mean, she really went, went all out with writing this. And then right here, that's all she shows you other things that you need, like, like light, and all that, that's important. And of course you can always go and go in and mark all these things. That's so using the box as a screw holder. She goes into a lot of detail. We right hear about how to put these together properly. Properly cutting up. Uh, cutting on the parts of the runner. Very, this is very important. Which I, which I like. Moving, part, next. Which is important. Again, a lot of stuff you can learn on YouTube. 
and a lot of these chips they, they go for not just you know frame rate they go for gunpla the standard frame rate of kit mech kits you know model kits in general the useful chips that work in general And then we go in to find the mark using gunner markers on them. Which yeah, gunner markers can be used on more than just gun. Just because they go call the gun the marker doesn't mean cleaning up. Applying blush marks to the faces. She even goes into using the gun the Gundam marker. Airbrush system. And then an important notification here, always wear a mask when you're airbrushing, of course. here. Now I'm going into uh, aerosols. Of course, a lot of the same things, you know, or the same for aerosols as well as with uh, spin markers. The spraying at least. An easy painter system from uh, I think it's from a uh, guy help well now back when I originally started out you know modeling I would have loved to have would have loved to have had like something like this right to start out with help me out in the very beginning but eh, I didn't have that leisure because I never looked into you know a uh, manual back back then So basically this is trying to kind of, you know, clean up seam lines. Again, all very useful information. Uh, 
caution. Now we're going to area brush infection. Brush all the in about, you know, cleaning up your bottles. She goes into a lot of the things, which are really, really useful. Cleaning the airbrush, of course, she also does into. And she makes a point over um, making sure your airbrush is clean and then masking as well. Masking is super important. Pre color separation. And then going on about you know paint the face on it. Water slide right here. And she gets close up of the kit. And then she goes in about um, the wrist joints, which they do. Uh, could have just sell wrist joint replacements. If you have If you are unlucky and you do break a wrist joint, you can buy replacements. And how do they get them out? Because it does happen. And here is all the talk going about MSG parts, which are awesome. As well as you can, you know, dress the girls up in the new uniform. Arms Girl Hand Guide. Building Guide. It's a very, very useful book for if you're starting out or you know. You just like collecting guides like this. In front of the hook. I will do a look through of her second one, which I do already own. I just don't have it in my possession possession 